Alright guys, it is the Def King here back with a brand new video and guys in today's video I'm going to be telling you guys about humanoid now um, You probably already know what humanoid is you're probably wondering okay Why are you making a video about humanoids and actually I've gotten a couple requests for it But I also realized that I've never really explained what the humanoid is and all sort of like how all that works and ex exactly what it is and like what you can do with it right so I'll be explaining that in today's video and I'll also be explaining um, like R15 and R6 and how that works because it's pretty important to know and I've realized that I've never really explained that and I don't think many people have either so I want to make a tutorial on it so yeah anyways okay so first things first what is a humanoid okay now um, if you go ahead and spawn in your game you'll, you'll, you'll spawn in and you'll see that you have a humanoid but basically what a humanoid is it's a special object that gives models the functionality of a character, okay? So that's Roblox definition, but basically it's how you make like characters, okay? Um, if you put it if you put a humanoid in your character, which I already have by default because that's what characters have, you can see that right here, my character, use code tap, um the humanoid is right here, right? I have my humanoid and I have a few uh, values in here, which I'll go over in a second, but basically it ha it displays like all of my human stuff. So not, I mean, obviously, you don't really know your health in real life, but like, okay, you see your health, you can change your, um, you can change your health, you can change your max health, you can change your walk speed. So right now, like 16 is the normal walk speed, um, but if you change it to 50, uh, I'll obviously I'll go really fast. So you see, I can, I can go really fast. You can change your jump power. I can change mine to 100, and that's two times what you normally do. So now I can jump pretty high, right? That's pretty cool. Um, you can, you know, like, make yourself jump, you can do platform stands, not really sure what you use these for, but anyways, you can make yourself sit, oh, oh okay, I'm, I'm, I'm falling, alright, you can make yourself, um, you can make yourself sit, like that, I know I'm not sitting right, but, um, you know, um, also, don't mind my character, I, I know, I need to change it, but, um, also, you can do stuff like, you know when you die, and, um, you like all your joints fall apart you can do stuff like breaking your part or breaking your joints on death so if i go ahead and uncheck this i'm not sure if it'll work because this is a client but i'll reset and look I, I i should fall over but i didn't but none of my joints um broke you see i just reset and none of my joints broke because that's a property of the humanoid so stuff like that right there's also things like a uh, name display distance now you can't see my name but basically you know like if i had a humanoid in here so like for example, if I had um, this guy right here, you can see um, he has a humanoid, okay, and um, if he has a name display distance. He's a name right here. So if I change this to um, like 50 studs, this is the studs or like 25 studs. Um, if I go out of if I go out here, you actually still see it because that's because the display distance type is viewer. But change that to subject, and then see it's subject to change. So as you can see, you can change um, like how far you need to be for the name to view, which is definitely useful. Um, also, you can change your rig. Like um, if you guys don't know what R15 and what R6 is, um, you can see my character. I'm an R16, and basically what that means is I have 16 body parts, okay? So my character is made up of 16 parts. I have my left foot, my left hand, my left lower arm, my left lower leg, left upper arm. You see, I have um, a lot of parts on my body. But over here, this character right here, this is an R6 character. And what that means is there's only six body parts. He only has a head, left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg, and then torso. I have, you know, an upper torso, a lower torso, um, I have a head, I have an upper arm, lower arm, I have the hand, you know, so it's a lot more body parts. And now this is important because sometimes when you're selecting stuff, you may accidentally realize or forget that, you know, some characters don't have an upper torso or some characters don't have just a torso, right? Um, so if you did like dot torso when, when you're making a character, beware that some characters don't have torsos. So that definitely indicated that. Um, also, one quick thing about that too. Um, Actually, I'll show you in a second. But also, one quick thing with humanoids: if your character is an R15, you can't do the R6. You, you can't, or sorry, R, R16 or R15. No, if your character is an R15, um, then you can actually change the scale of it pretty easily. Um, if you go to your humanoid right here, you see you have stuff like body depth scale, and basically what that means is you can change the value by default to one, but you can go to five. And it makes me kind of fat, right? <laughs> Looks pretty weird, but it's the depth, right? And then you can change the height to make it proportional, right? You can change that to five as well. And now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good like this, but obviously I'm not really that wide, so I can change my width, and that's five. And now you can see I have a, like a regular proportionate character, but um, obviously just a little bit big, um, 
<laughs> um, my head's kind of small, but you can change your head scale right there too. You can change that to 50, and there you go. Oh, oh, that's a little bit. Oh, that's a little bit too big. <laughs> that actually looks really cool, honestly. It's like a giant head. Um, but yeah, you get the point, right? Uh, let me change that back to maybe uh, one. Okay. But uh, yeah, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, dude, dang it, I'm trying to make it like a reasonable size, but. Okay, there you go. That's good. <laughs> this looks pretty cool, honestly. Um, but yeah, you get the point, right? So you can make a character look different like that. And um, yeah. And then you have body type scale. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what that does on. So I think it's a new thing. But you can change that. It makes you, makes you a little bit like more like skinnier and taller, I guess. I don't know. Uh, this is like one of those things you can change in the Roblox avatar menu. Um, and then proportion. I think that's one of those things, too. So yeah. All right, anyways, you get what that does. So um, yeah, that's what humanoids do and what they do. And then you have a description of your humanoid right there. You see it, it, it saved all the values. Um, so you can basically apply this to the humanoid if you wanted to. So like, you don't have to copy all this. So that's what humanoid descriptions are. You can you see it has all these values of, of my humanoid. And obviously they're not, they're not correct, I just changed them, but that's how they make them. So uh, yeah. Also you have other things like, um, or sorry, sorry, but um, yeah, that's pretty much um, f for the what you can see, the properties you can see. That's uh, what humanoid is. Now I'm going to show you some more properties that you can't really necessarily see. And also, um, if you guys were wondering, if you ever have a game and you're you know just like you're trying to code to cater to R6 and R15, you can go to your game settings actually, and then go to avatar. You can actually make your um, your, your players a certain type by default so like if I change this to R6 and I spawn in right now it'll make me an R6 so I'll go ahead and spawn in and show you and basically what, what it means is you know I only have six joints or you get the point right but uh yeah that's what that is so that's kind of cool I guess um but or you can keep it on player preference or player choice and that way anyone can join and also you can change all this stuff right so that's pretty cool I like that um so yeah, anyways, um, also I want to see some more game settings, they have gravity and stuff like that, you can change the default walk speed, default dump, di default jump distance, um, it's kind of cool how it calculates that for you, um, but yeah, anyways, alright, so uh, what else do we need to cover, oh yes, 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 okay, so, um, also, there are other things, um, body parts, I'm really looking at my notes real quick, but uh yeah okay yeah. okay so there's also other parts that are important to know um stuff like um like your states you can see what kind of state you're in so for example yeah, i'll make a script right now and um i'll put in service for i'll do local human human is equal to uh game dot workspace find first child or no wait for child uh, use code tap. You don't. You don't have to put the way if you guys don't want to. Um, and then dot humor. Wait for child. Humanoid. Okay, there we go. And then I can do humanoid um, dot uh, like state changed. And that's an event. And basically, what this means is you can see all the states that happen. I'll print uh, humanoid get states and well, that should work um okay let's see there you go you see now it's still, it shows you my states right here right you can see I, i'm running right now with no physics um i can i, I said see it said jumping and it said free fall because like when i'm falling it's a free fall what it thinks it is uh it actually doesn't cast a jumping for some reason which is kind of weird um Oh, and I accidentally went into the server. But uh, you can see it's free fall, and you know, there's also states like swimming. Actually, I have them all right here. There's um, there's falling down, running, running, no physics being calculated, um, climbing, strafing, ragdoll, uh, getting up, jumping, landed, flying, free fall, swimming, dead. Um, a lot of stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So that's useful to know. Um, also, it's useful to change your states, right? Like if you're making an AI and you need them to jump, it's useful to do that because... You know, sometimes you might need to actually have a script that does something. So right now I can do um, um, I can do game dot workspace dots use code tap dot humanoid, and then I can do um, change state uh, jumping. Actually, that's not like it's gonna work. I have to put in like a certain thing, but yeah. 
But you know what I'm saying, right? That's kind of cool. Um, or no, neither enum. All right, enum dot humanoid state type dot jumping. And as you can see, it made me jump. That's kind of cool, right? This is the console, by the way. If you guys don't know, I've never explained that before either. This is how you like type your like little commands while your game's running. So it's like a script, but like in your while the game's running. So it's kind of cool. Um, let's see what other stuff we have. Humanoid state type. We can do swimming. I don't know what that's gonna do. I don't think it's gonna even work. Yeah, it works for like a second, but then it goes back because it realizes it realizes I'm not swimming. So um, yeah, and then you have things like I want to do ragdoll. Oh, that didn't work either. Okay, well I can do humanoid not dead. There you go. That killed me. Um, also, you can also kill your humanoid. By the way, um, you can do uh, you know you can get your humanoid, and then you can do dots destroy, right? That's a useful function. Also, this is probably really hard to see. I realized. Uh, sorry about that. But you can do, yeah, dot, you know, or destroy, right? And that'll destroy your humanoid. But don't do that because that's a little weird. What you normally do is um, colon take damage, and that would take damage from the player. I probably shouldn't be doing this right now. But, yeah, okay, so um, you can do take damage, and then you can do, like, uh, humanoid dot health. Uh, and then so that, that kills it instantly. You take away all its health. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, other commands that are really important, like... Um, hmm, like auto jump. Also, there's a command where you can see the floor material. Like here, I'll print that out. Um, humanoid dot um, floor material. It's, that's a weird command, honestly. But you can literally, whatever the player is stepping on, it'll get the material of it. See, this one is plastic. It printed it out just there. Um, printed out plastic. So it's really weird. There's, there's a lot of there's a lot of cool commands with it. Um, there's an if you guys don't know about the Roblox um, wiki. There's a wiki you can use to read about all the stuff that's for it. Now, obviously, you probably you don't need to know all of it because you might not use all of it. But it's definitely to know some of this stuff. Um, there's also other stuff like equipping tools. If I have a tool in my game, right, I can just equip it with a command. I can unequip tools with commands, right? It's just colon equip tool. I can make it move, right? We learned about that in the last tutorial. Um, like, uh, we can do. Well, actually, it won't make me move because I'm, I'm like controlling it right now, so it won't work for me. But if you had like an AI, obviously that would work. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff like that, right? So, uh, very, very cool um, commands and just events and stuff. Um, there's other com there's commands like like finding out when the humanoid died, you know, like you can find out when the humanoid died. Like, um, you can do game.workspace, or sorry, you can do humanoid dot died uh, connect. And then that would basically tell you whenever it dies, this would fire. So that's actually that's actually really useful because maybe you want to pop a pop up a thing on the screen that says like wasted, you know, like GTA does. So stuff like that. It, it's very useful. Um, and yeah, um, I would definitely read up on this if you guys want or if you want to. But uh, yeah, I'm um, sorry about this tutorial. I guess it's kind of random right now, but it is de definitely important to know. And I thought I should teach you guys something. So uh, yeah. Also, sorry if I sound super crazy in this video. I'm very tired. Um, I have to get up early tomorrow, and I wanted to record a video tonight so I can have it up tomorrow. So, um, yeah, because I want to upload every other day on this channel. I'm doing it for you guys, all right? But anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed, um, and if you learned something. I know this was a little bit random, so sorry. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And subscribe for more tutorials. Okay, yeah, peace.